Every Labor Day weekend since 1947, the Blue Ridge Mountain town of Hendersonville, North Carolina, celebrates the apple. That's because North Carolina is the nation's seventh largest apple producing state. And about 85% of the state's crop comes from right here in Hendersonville. There are 150 orchards in Henderson County, producing two dozen varieties of apples, up to four million bushels per year. That's a lot to celebrate. The North Carolina Apple Festival attracts about 300,000 visitors to Hendersonville each year and puts an estimated $23 million into the local economy. That's significant, considering the town, located about 22 miles south of Asheville, only has a population of about 14,000. The festival kicks off on the Friday before Labor Day Monday. Community leaders and event organizers gather on the stage in front of the old county courthouse to officially open the event. The 2016 festival opened on September 2nd under gray skies left over from Hurricane Hermine well to the south, but the gray skies quickly gave way to bright sunny days. Street vendors set up shop on both sides of Main Street, which is pedestrian only during the festival. You can buy all sorts of local arts and crafts, food, including of course apples, ciders, and apple products. Enjoy live music and entertainment. Local stores and restaurants along Main Street and surrounding streets are also open. Downtown Hendersonville's Main Street is very much alive and well and looks much like it did at the turn of the last century. One of the busiest stores in town is the famous Mast Outfitters. It feels like you're walking into a different time. The tall tin ceilings, vintage fixtures, and even the merchandise would easily be recognized by shoppers 100 years ago. The courthouse stage provides almost non-stop entertainment. The festival is very family friendly. It's free and it's alcohol free. Many visitors who come to the festival take the opportunity to stop by apple groves outside of town. A number of growers offer the opportunity to pick your own apples. This is very popular, especially with families with young children who want to make memories that will last a lifetime. Many of the growers use dwarf root stock to maximize production. You can get 125 regular sized trees on an acre, but with the dwarf variety, it goes up to 600 trees, and they start producing fruit in the third year. About 75% of the local crop is used for juice, cider, applesauce, and other apple products. Some of the larger growers offer rides, tours, and petting zoos. If picking your own apples is not your thing, you can always visit the Grove store. On Labor Day Monday, most of the street vendors close down at noon to make way for the King Apple Parade. It begins at 2.30 and includes a parade of antique cars and trucks. Local and state politicians, including Congress members and the governor. There are also fire trucks, floats, and marching bands. The North Carolina Apple Festival has grown into a major four-day event, celebrating all things associated with apples and the people who grow them. It's a great way to celebrate the end of summer and to get ready for the cool, crisp weather of fall just ahead. Soon, the mountains will be ablaze with color and the town filled with leaf peepers.